It's a cold, glittering night in Atlanta, and the first time in the SEC title game, there are no Gators in the Georgia Dome. The moat has been forged by plainsmen and volunteers. The carriages have been arriving for two days. The ringing sound from Rocky Top and the defiant battle cry of War Damn Eagle echo across the city. There's a whole lot of orange in the Georgia Dome for the sixth SEC championship game. Presented by Dr. Pepper. He has some help, a running back by the name of Jamal Lewis. They have a running game, they have balance. But I can assure you one thing. If you're talking trophies, the only trophy that's on Peyton Ma Manning's mind tonight is the Southeastern Conference Championship Trophy. The Volunteers are 10 and 1. They are ranked third in the polls. The Auburn Tigers are 9 and 2 and feisty. All right, Lynch one. Thank you. Terry Bowden, fifth season for the Auburn Tigers as head coach, 45, 11 and 1. His first meeting, however, against Tennessee. They've not played since 91. Philip Fulmer, sixth year, his record 53 and 10 with the Tennessee Volunteers. And his first chance at claiming an SEC championship. So from the 20 yard line, the first step of the ball game, the Tennessee Volunteers. Let's see if Manning gives it to Lewis to run it. Nope, he sends him in motion. He's out there as a receiver. They'll throw to him. He comes back to get it on the screen. It's a big play to start the ball game for Tennessee. Goes out of bounds at the 45-yard line. First down, Volunteers, Auburn 40-yard line. Manning, back to throw. Going big to the corner. It is touchdown, Tennessee. Peerless fight. But uh, you want to watch where number one is. And if you're playing for Auburn, you better know where he is. Craig now flush. This is when he's dangerous. It's caught. And it is a big one for hit four. Out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Corey Gaines ran him down. Don't ever give up on Damian Craig because he doesn't. Not hit a receiver. It looked like that ball was in the air. So it's Jared Holmes who had that terribly dramatic field goal to win against Alabama. This is big here, Keith. Just get on the board. 30 yard try. Big leg here. And it's good. He has kicked 11 consecutive field goals. It's 7 to 3, Tennessee. Bill Oliver, the defensive coordinator, and David Cutcliffe, the offensive coordinator for Tennessee. Cutcliffe on the first drive, that long pass for the touchdown on first down after the ball was fumbled. Be a great battle within a game between those two guys. And Peyton Manning calling the controls at the controls. Pretty good. Second down and eight. Ball is thrown to the outside than that. Ball is on the ground. Look, picked up. This time, Tennessee fumbled it and didn't get it back. And the Tigers put it in the end zone. Down and in comes Chris Hogue. His first punt was 51 yards. Markeith Cooper waiting for it. Bad kick. Off the side of the foot, bounds up into the air, and the Volunteers will down it at the 44-yard line of Auburn front at guard TJ Mears moves over to the right side and Kendall Simmons comes in at the left guard position all show blitz Craig fakes the pitch sets up and throws a hunter caught by Tyrone Dillard number 41 Dillard in the tight end I agree with you <laughs> I was waiting for the, the punctuation on that well, I, was, I just I just I had to say that I just had to get it out all right, here we go with this 48-yard field goal try. It's plenty of leg. Will it hold in? Yes. So Jared Holmes 
proves what his coach said yesterday. He may be our MVP, even though he's on the same team with Damian Craig. It's now 13 to 7. The Auburn Tigers have the lead. Total sellout, and everybody's standing. A lot of folks standing outside wondering if all the seats were occupied. And I think the message is yes. 71,000 and something. We'll get the attendance later. Here's Damian Craig back to pass on second down. He throws the bullet. The pass is caught by Carson Bailey. And Bailey is very close to his first down near midfield, albeit the 49-yard line. Rusty Williams is the deep back now for Auburn. Number three. First down at the 49. Tigers. Craig still got it. Pressure coming. Steps away. Gets his pass off. Going deep down the middle. It is caught. Touchdown. Tyrone Dixon. Sessions have done much with it. Call it second down, long seven. Manning moving a bit this time, throws, and he's got a man all by himself over there on his knees. It's Peerless Price. Price came back that time on uh, a different look. Brother Bill, the coordinator defensively, he's given Peyton a few different looks and a few different coverages off that look. Third and ten. That pass is on the money, and it is caught by Jermaine Copeland. He caught it with his hands. And it's first down, Tennessee. Double trouble down here at the bottom of the picture now. Fearless Price is down here. Now, now he throws a three-man line at him. Instead of all 11 at the line, only three-man line. Looks like it may be a zone. He's looking for Price. He gets it. Good move by Price. Puts up two more yards. And it's first down, Tennessee. Inside, just inside the Auburn 15. Twice he had the ball on receiver's hands on the goal line. Or in the end zone. Yep. Jeff Hall in to try the field goal. This will be a 27-yard try. He's 15 out of 21 this year. And he's got it. And so the volunteers finally come back and get something else on the board. And they trail now 20 to 10. Holmes is in the punt, and Terry Fair is back to receive it. And that's sort of been exciting tonight. Particularly if you're a Tennessean, you tend to close your eyes here and see if Terry's going to handle this one and keep control of it as Holmes hits a beauty. Holmes ducks him all the way back to the 32 yard line and Fair turns it back up the sideline. And he may be gone. Holmes, the kicker, got it. He goes all the way down to the Auburn 23 yard line. Has come back in for Tennessee at tailback. Big play here. Nash goes in motion. Peyton Manning throws to the end zone, complete. Copeland for a touchdown. yard mark he's now 11,003 and only four quarterbacks have done that Craig Jensen almost lost the football the pressure coming from the backside by Jonathan Brown and so the Tennessee defense which was aggressive and attacking at the end of the first half comes out here doing the same thing in the third quarter third and ten Quick one, caught by Copeland, breaks the tackle, gets the first down, down near the 35-yard line. Spikes brought him down to Keo Spikes. Archie. For the fans, and of course the kids are so excited to participate in a game like this, I think they'll remember it the rest of their lives. 
on first down. Swing it out. Hands wide open. That's Lewis. Jamal Lewis can haul it when he gets that much room, and he's out of bounds at the 15-yard line for another Tennessee first down. Archie, I've, I've seen Peyton play. Uh, this is the first time, though. We saw him. Uh, John Elway and Jim Kelly. Uh, He's so far along in all of his, uh, his, his his techniques and his principles. Well, that's a real compliment. He's had he's had great coaching and, and played his work hard. And we're, we're real proud of him. From the 15, first down. Passes away. The man's over there. It's intercepted. Intercepted. It's right off Copeland's hands. He was right open, and it is Jason Gray still going. He's finally run down and caught inside the 20-yard line. What an incredible turnaround. Sean Bryson ran him down and caught him. It went right through the receiver's hand, off his shoulder pads, and was intercepted. Well, you're so right. Tennessee is so fortunate to be in the football game after all those turnovers. It's first and 15, back on the 24. Craig steps away from the pressure, gets his pass away. He's got a man. It's Beasley. It's touchdown. Well, they showed an area where they were going to blitz to begin with. Third and 18. He's got a man. It's Price, and he makes the catch up at the 35-yard line, just across it. That's a big-time throw and catch there. Keith, you backed up. You need a first down. Dorsey's back at nose tackle. Almost jumped. Peyton got him in uh, in the neutral zone, put a knee down. I don't see any flags, though. I don't see any. I heard a whistle, but it, uh, there's one. There's I see one. one. So what are they going to call? Offsides against uh, Auburn? And they give him a first down. Well, defense, offside, yep. five yards, first down. All right, here's some of the, the, the elements. Of we'll make it first and 15 now, and the ball comes back to the 46 on the Auburn side of the field. Minute and 17 seconds in the quarter remaining. Passes away. The pass is caught by Price. And Fearless Price will score. Sooner or later, you're going to get burned. Oh, it's 27 23 now have to go back to a three-point ball game if this conversion is good by Jeff Hall. And it's blocked. And a chance to score two. If he can reach the end zone, it'll be worth two. It's Quentin Reese. Blocked by Dorsey. Reese grabbed it and raced downfield and scores two for the defense. Turn that for two points. So Auburn, if you look at it the other side, they, Auburn has been a very opportun opportunistic defense. They've knocked the ball loose. They've gotten 16 points other than what their offense has. Second and 10. Quick throw, pass complete. First down, down the sideline. It's next. All continuing motion. Third down now. Out of hurry. Now got him. It's Little again. Leonard Little. I agree. Yeah, in terms of my vote, 
Uh, I would not take the SEC championship and punish Peyton Manning if he played a bad game here tonight I or agree. reward him if he played a good game. Yeah, he I gets agree. an extra opportunity that other people don't have. I think I think Charles Woodson had a great year. I mean, I think he was super. And I know... The Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Peyton Manning for Tennessee, Damian Craig for Auburn. They have all kinds of numbers, but the important thing is they were truly the MVPs. Chevrolet continuing to donate money to the general scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. Good night from Atlanta. Here's John Sunday.